Hello there, this is Morgan. We are on Prowl's Patreon server, Eternia, for episode 5. This is a server that's never going to be reset. It's just expanded. Now I was just at my shop checking out. Seeing if we'd sold any of the ores. And uh, we're, today we're going to be working more on the mining village. So let's head that way. First thing we're going to do is check out on some of the things Squeaky has done. Here is a cart with the driver hauling blocks from the smelter. Either to go to town or to go to the blacksmith. Oops. Me and my fingers are not working today. <clears throat> Apparently my voice neither. Here's another cart, smaller cart, hauling ores from the mine. Squeaky, Squeaky's been working on this house here. A couple of houses here and she's trying to work on a really good design and stuff. So Walls go up, walls come down, walls go up, walls come down. Same for this one here. We're getting close to wanting to start doing some interior decorate, decorating on some of these. Down here, where the tavern, small tavern, in, in, in small tavern and inn is going to go. Golden came and did some clearing and leveling for us, which was awfully nice. Now, my concept for this village was for it to be a rural mining village. Problem is, as tight as the medieval district is, it is right next to some other builds, which is fine and dandy. It, it can't not be. But to give it more of a rural feel, feeling, I'm trying to surround it th with thick spruce trees. I don't know that they will stay. It might not, it might not actually be end up being a rural village when it's all said and done. And just maybe the outskirts of the rest of the town and village. But for now, I just want to No, that's too uh, four by here. If it will, it might not. Might be too close to everything else. I don't know if they said. A uh, single one right there, see what that does. There we go, ploof. Yeah, I said ploof. We'll need to come back in here and put some hidden lighting so we don't get overran with creepers. And in these small gaps here, I'll come back in and put some oak trees here. I mean, I don't want to make it thick forever. I just want a good solid ring around. Let's see if this one might do good for a 4 by. So anyway, I'm going to run around and... I shouldn't have any issues. Put in a bunch of these trees and come back and see how that looks when I get done. As I've been farming spruce trees this afternoon to get a lot of saplings. Learn to jump. Anyway, let me go work on 
throwing in some trees and I'll, we will be back. Okay, got that side pretty well wooded in, I think. I want to come back and uh, take out some more birch trees down closer to that end. And plus, I want to come in and fill in. I was thinking with some oak trees, but I probably let uh, Squeaky come in and put in some azalea trees. But yeah, I think I want to swap out some uh, some of the closest birch. Now I need to do around the other side. Plus, I want to go around the top there, I think. So anyway, let me get back to work on that and just keep on keeping on. Okay, got some trees along the top of the mine. Needs to be a little bit thicker over that way and there to make it look a bit better. But there's nobody building back that direction, so it won't matter. But make that a little thicker. I knocked down some birch trees up in that direction, so I'm waiting for them to decay for finish doing that. And I'll need to finish making it a little thicker across up there as well. And then I'll need to continue it on around to this corner. Yeah, I think I want to continue it on down through here to meet up and I'll probably come across here with them and I'll do a little bit of landscaping there. I don't want to do a ton of work but mainly just light up that area there and then cover it with dirt. Next thing I want to do is get started on this blacksmithing. Yeah. I think for foundation, I want to go with the nether brick. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to be as open air as the smelter, but it's still going to be a little open. And this size may not stay the same. But this isn't going to be a huge smelt, uh, blacksmith. Okay. Yeah, let's go with that and uh, get the shovel. Eat a little bit. And I'm going to throw down the, throw down the red nether brick and then start working and figure out what flooring I want. And as soon as I make a little progress, I'll bring y'all back in. Okay, I've got the foundation down. Oh, some steps over here, and I'm looking at uh, black stone. This is smooth basalt here, and cobbled deep slate. And I'm thinking I'm going to go with the cobbled deep slate. Oh, back over here. So that's what I did for the foundation borders here. Did these uh, smithing tables. Yeah. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go with the cobbled uh, Oops. Yeah, I go with the cobbled deep slate floor. I think that just looks better. Uh, need more cobbled Deep slate slabs. Finish it off. Unless I gotta figure out what the walls and design. Basically, I'm gonna have a place back here where you heat the ingots up, or, you know, to, to make things. Three different cauldrons over here for quenching. Need an anvil or two. Need the furnace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I need to gather up some more materials now that I got a little bit of an idea of what I want to do. There's black stone, obsidian, cobble deep slate slabs. Yeah. So yeah, that ought to be enough to finish that off. But I gotta figure out what I want to do with the walls now.
Oh, yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I'm putting them in the corners so that I don't want them in the corners. I definitely don't want them in the floor either. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go too high with this. Okay, no, do not like that. I don't think I like that either. That's regular black stone. Polished black stone bricks. We'll need to go around the outside of the house. And there's this polished black stone. Already got the bricks there, so I'm just going to go with polished black stone. Okay, so let's finish off this accent here. Oh, that one should have been done for the inside. Okay, right here, do that. Yeah. I just, I don't want to go up any higher than with the, with the, brick walls. I'm going to do something different there and instead of being three tall those support pillars may go four tall just to make it a little bit more airy. Uh, anyway let me think about this for a bit and I will come back in when we got some options. Okay got a couple ideas here going. Uh, Another one of them. Put the quenching barrels over here. Yeah, they're not barrel barrels, but uh, yeah. Need one more. Let's see here. I like the way that looks. Let's put one there. Might put a blast furnace or two in here as well. Something like so. But that doesn't solve the problem about the decorations, does it? Or the roof.
Um, hum, hum, hum. If I go this route, I'm not going to have it like that. I'm going to... Yeah, I think I like that. Except, you know, I said I didn't want to put wood in it, but a little bit of wood up there is going to make it look so much better. Yeah, I have no clue why the scaffolding did that, but that's all right. And I wonder. Yeah, dark oak planks for a ceiling. I don't know if it's one short, but the one over here I don't need at that spot. There we go. Let's come down inside, take a look, see what that looks like. Yeah, that's high enough to give it some air. I want to hang some lanterns down. And I, th I don't want to put glass in here. I mean, yeah. There was plenty of glass at that time, but A, it'd be awfully fragile, B, it'd be kind of expensive for a rural place. I'm thinking fence posts, but instead of wood fence posts, putting in nether brick fence posts. And maybe not everywhere. Whoa, yeah, stand on us. So let me get. That's, yeah, let me go make a couple of fence posts real quick and be right back. Hey, huh, okay, that's not looking like I was hoping it would. But I don't know why I was, what I was thinking. I almost stand on that fire again, man. Yeah, I think that'll work. And I think we'll probably just go for a longer overhang instead of shutters. We will see. Yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might change out those walls for regular stone brick blocks so I can put item frames against them and so it covers up the foundation, but I might not. I want to put in one more cauldron. Need one for water, one for salt water, and one for oil for the quenching. Do want some item frames with uh, tools and things on them. But uh, yeah, so now I've got a, I've got a lot more spruce logs. I just don't have them here. I've got them in my storage at the industrial area where I was farming trees like crazy to get all the saplings. Now I need to figure out the roof. Originally, ah, oh, I've already got it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I don't know how bad the white's going to offset from the rest of it. I definitely wouldn't want to use the nether brick steps. I think this might be a case for... Yeah, a case for something. I'm starting to think andesite. Andesite or polished andesite. It'd go better. I think, I think the white's just going to be too much. I think I'll outline the sides of the top with the polished. Just go with the regular andesite for the most part. And I'll come back in and switch out some of them with other blocks just for whoops, just for the texture. Okay, so yeah, I think I got a rough idea of the door here. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do there. As I said. Like the smelter, I think the smithy would get awfully hot. You want to be able to open it up. These bricks would be awfully hot too, but still. Yeah, get some more fencing. Get some more spruce logs. Get in. And now that I know with the design, I just need to finish gathering up the resources that I want. And then uh, I'll put it together and I'll bring y'all back. Show you the finished project. Okay, there's still a little bit of work that needs to be done, but I am mostly happy. I might redo that roof just a little bit. Let me jump up here so we can get better. Yeah, so it had a flat spot right there. Had it in my head how that hip that roof was going to go, and it didn't go that way. <clears throat> I need to add some texture to it, but that'll be something we'll probably come back and do later. The ends need to be filled in with something so you don't see the the interior ceiling. That is. Yeah, these one slabs here are on all the corners. I'm not sure if they will stay or not. But I'll let Squeaky pick out whatever she wants to put in <clears throat> on the eaves here. We still need a blast furnace or two in here as well as a regular smelter. And of course we need... Uh, we need an iron, uh, iron, an armor stand. That's the word for a blacksmith in here working. Some item frames with some tools on them. <clears throat> but anyway, that's going to do it for episode five of Morgan Plays Eternia SMP. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like button, hit the notification button, the subscribe button, all the buttons. Hit all the buttons. Then go over to Prowls and hit all the buttons there too. Buttons are good. Anyway, thanks for watching and y'all have a good one. Bye. Bye.